Hey what's up guys, Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Today in this video I want to talk a little bit about my full body armor. So stick around. You know I did a video about the body protection about two years ago and it did uh, get a lot of hits. And in that video I was showing the body armor and it's exactly the same. It's this one that I was showing in the video two years ago. I actually have this body armor for about three years now. and. Uh, I wear it every single time I go riding off-road. If I go riding trails, I have this thing on. And uh, this is not a Fox, this is a Chinese brand. Uh, you know, I didn't want to spend 170 back then, three years ago, and I checked some reviews uh, on the YouTube and people were saying that this is not a bad option. So I gave it a shot, I bought one. It was cheap, it was like around 30 bucks, something like that, compared to, you know, the, the brand. It's uh, maybe like 20, 25% of the price of the brand. And uh, it performed okay, you know, it did protect me when I went down, you know, I didn't hit my elbows. I, once I got the branch, there was a dry branch sticking into the trail I didn't see and it hit me right in the chest. So if I don't have this chest protector, man, that would be nasty, you know, so it definitely helped me a lot. I went down many times and it, you know, this armor looked like it, uh, it was uh, abused quite a bit, like... I torn a few of these uh, little things here, there are some holes, I cut off this, uh, these rubber pieces over here because they were, they kind of didn't work anymore so I just cut them off, I didn't need them because this one is kind of snug, you know, fit. And overall, you look three years, the zipper is still working, all the protection is still here, I didn't, nothing fell off, nothing, nothing broke off, I mean look, the bag is still there. Just those zippers, I don't use them, I just undo them because they make no sense anyway. So, you know, for the money I spent, I think it was pretty good protection. So after that, after three years of using this one and uh, having pretty good experience with it, I decided to pick up another one, which is exactly the same. Again, the Chinese brand. And uh, one thing that went bad on that one is the Velcro it didn't hold very strong after like two years. This one has a double Velcro from both sides, so it will hold a little bit better, which is a good point. So I picked up this one. I had uh, already one ride. I took this Husaberg out like two weeks ago. I picked it up for from uh, from Amazon. I'll put them in the description and. Uh, it's pretty much the same stuff I had before. It fits. It fits pretty well. It's pretty tight. You know, you have these things you can adjust uh, on the front and back. You can adjust where you want to position your shoulder protector. And uh, also, you know, this back piece. I undo the zippers over there because they make no sense. You know, because the back piece is holding on the top of the straps, and then you have this strap on the on the bottom. So you don't really need those zippers in. If you have them and you move a lot, you're gonna you're gonna tear it apart anyway. So I just undo the zippers. I don't use them. I don't see the reason why they are there. Anyway, so without the zippers, it's, uh, it's as as good as with the zippers. So, all right, it fits pretty well. It's a good way to you know protect you. I think after spending three years with that one, uh, I feel pretty confident to have this one. It uh, will give me certain protection. You know, if you crash on a dirt bike and you're going to break your hand or <laughs> your arm you're still gonna do that this is not going to save you but all the all the scratches and bruises and stuff like that or the branch hitting you and things like that they definitely help so every time I go out I have this armor on I can say that I would probably recommend to to get it if you want to spend like 30 40 dollars and get some protection that you can go running in the woods this is not a bad option and uh, one more thing I don't like this on the track. You know, when I go on the MX track, I feel it's a little bit restricting because I need to move a lot on the bike. So uh, I don't ride with this thing on the track. But also, I wanted to have some kind of protection on the track because I was getting roosted every now and then. I'm not that fast, you know, so I was getting roosted and it kind of hurts when I had no protection at all and I got roosted in my chest. Uh, it wasn't very pleasant. So I picked up on Amazon again, actually, same company, OH Motor. They do this kind of uh, chest protector that uh, I wanted to have just for the trek. Maybe I will later do some elbow protectors, but main thing what I wanted to do was to have something for my for my chest and back because the, the ruse was kind of hurting me, you know, all the time. So I picked this one up and I was riding with it already once the last time I was at the trek. I wanted to see 
if this thing stays in the place when I ride and I move a lot. So I did like 30 minutes moto and this thing stayed exactly where is it right now. It didn't shift upwards. I was kind of afraid it will shift but it didn't. I did 30 minutes. Uh, feel good. I mean I got a little bit slower toward the end. I, I was getting in a fatigue. Uh, my hands were hurting but it's not too bad. I mean I'm, st I'm still able to to keep the control of the bike so it's pretty good. This was actually my longest moto since I ride dirt bike so I'm quite proud of myself and this chest piece keeps me I don't know a little bit warmer so I guess it's okay. I got hit by really good roos once this guy on CRF 450 passed me and he, he gave me roos but this helped a lot. Not a, not a bad product. It uh, does what it's supposed to. It looks okay so yeah nothing to complain about. If you guys want to check it out I'll put link below in the description you can go and check it out but don't forget to get the bigger size because this is a Chinese sizing and uh, I usually wear large but for the body armor I have extra large and even maybe 2x large would be okay so if you have a couple extra pounds you know pick up maybe 2xl or maybe even 3xl they have some uh, size chart on the on the Amazon page where you can kind of see where you are and pick it up from there all right my friends well that's about it for today and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated See you later.